Welcome to another Spread Cheaters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheaters website. In this video, we'll see how to combine two pivot tables in Excel. Pivot tables are one of the most useful tools in Excel. Pivot tables are built of a data set and they summarize the data in a data set or a table by grouping together the information and they use aggregation functions such as sum, count, average, etc. When you have two pivot tables, you may find that you need to combine them to present the information in a better way. Now, it stands to reason that pivot tables can be combined only if they are built off the same data set. Otherwise, there will not be any uh, fields in common. So in this example, I've got two pivot tables. One has a count of manufacturer and the other one has the sum of selling price. Now, the first step is to analyze the pivot tables and see whether they can be combined. Now, both these are built of the same data set, which is on the other sheet data. And when I look at this, I see that uh, there is a name and there's a manufacturer. So I can understand that name is a, a subgroup of the manufacturer. So in this case, it will be possible to combine it because the name of the uh, uh, car can come as a uh, under the hierarchy under the manufacturer. So to combine the pivot tables, what I do is select the first pivot table and the pivot table fields are displayed. If these are not displayed, you can go to pivot table analyze and under show, click on the field list. So here I can see that there is name and there is selling price since both these uh, tables are built off the same data set. So what I'll do is I will take the name and I will drag it down under manufacture in the rows. When I do this, you can see at once the data is grouped. And if I could expand this, I can see that the names are added under the manufacturer. The next step is to combine the next column, which is the selling price. So I will take the selling price and drag it under values under count of manufacturer. And now the sum of selling price is displayed here. I can now close this. And so now I have in effect combined the pivot tables by adding the fields from the second table into the first table. As I said earlier, this is possible only if they are both built of the same data set and if it is possible to group them in this way. So I can now uh, delete this pivot table or leave it uh, as it is for reference. This is how to combine two pivot tables in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.